Welcome back to uh, Pablo Neruda's Memoirs. The prescribed chapter, the word, is an extract from the book Memoirs written by Pablo Neruda. Do you know the difference between memoirs and autobiography? An autobiography is the story of a person's life written by that person, and a memoir is a collection of memories, not the full story of life written by the person themselves. About the chapter. The section entitled The Word is a great pay into poetry. Neruda relishes words, savors them, and fondles them in an attempt at harnessing their poetic potentials and emotions in diverse permutations, eliciting rapture. One sees a man drunk with poetry, reveling in its intoxication. The whole passage is rendered in italics and stands out like a poem. There are three other passages rendered in the same manner. The reclining gods, the mask and the war, and poetry. This passage is replete with images and surrealistic expressions. It is highly suggestive and picturesque. Neruda offers praises to words or poetry. He tastes and enjoys words as if it is a tasty food. He touches them softly in order to extract their maximum possibilities and emotions in them, which makes him extremely happy. Neruda is like a person who is drunk with poetry. Poetry is compared to liquor here. This narrative is full of images and surrealistic expressions. See this textual passage. Several words are used which may not be familiar to you like pay in see the expression the word is a great pay in to poetry pay in means a song of praise neruda uses the imagery or symbolism of food see the word relishes relish is often used in the context of food Neruda relishes words. Neruda enjoys words, savors them, tastes them good, and fondles them, touch in a loving manner. Pause the video here and read the text and paraphrase side by side text you can say anything you want yes sir meaning yes sir with words you can say anything but it's words that sing they soar and descend you sing with words. The words rise up, comes down. I bow them, I love them, I cling to them, I run them down. Meaning, I respect words, I love words, I cling to words, I reduce their numbers. I bite into them. 
I melt them down. I love words so much. Meaning, I taste them. I melt them to create something with it. I love words so much. The unexpected ones, the ones I wait for greedily or stock until suddenly they drop. Meaning, I love words that come unexpectedly. I wait for them with greed. I hunt words like animals until they fall. Vowels I love, they glitter like colored stones. They leap like silver fish. They form thread, metal, dew. I love vowels. Vowels glitters like diamonds. They are like silver fish. Words are delicate like foam. Words are strong like metal. Vowels are like dewdrops. Vowels are like thread. I run after certain words. They are so beautiful that I want to fit them all into my poem. Meaning, some words are so beautiful that I hunt them to catch so that I can use them in my poems. I catch them mid-flight as they buzz past. I trap them, clean them, peel them. I set myself in front of dish. As the words fly beside me, I catch them. Then just like a vegetable, he clean them, peel them, and put them in dish. They have a crystalline texture to me. Vibrant, ivory, vegetable, oily, like fruit, like algae, like agates. Meaning, I feel the texture of words is crystalline. I feel the words are energetic. They are made of ivory. They are oily like fruit, algae, a water plant, and like mineral stones. Like olives, and then I stir them, I shake them, I drink them, I gulp them down, I mash them, I garnish them, I let them go. Words are like olive, as if words are like a drink or a fruit, I drink it, I crush it, decorate it, I let them free. Leave them in my poem like stalactites like slivers of polished wood like calls picking from a shipwreck gifts from the waves meaning words hang on my poems like the oozings in the caves words are like call that is fuel they are far and wide like remainings from a shipwreck they are like gifts that comes through waves. Everything exists in a word. An idea goes through complete change because one word shifted its place. Everything exists in a word. They are complete. If a word is replaced, the idea changes completely. Because another settled down like a spoiled little thing inside a phrase that was not expecting her, but obeys her. When a new word enters a phrase, the phrase meaning completely changes. Read the portion, the word from the textbook. Read the text and paraphrase given in the slide side by side. Answer the comprehension questions. Thank you.